We know that, of course, in our Shmona Esrei, it's broken into three sections. The Gemara tells us in Brachos, the Olam Adam Yisader Shiv Choshal HaKadosh Baruch Ve'achar Kach Mesfalo. First, I praise God, and then I can go ahead and ask the things that I need to ask for. And our Shmona Esrei, all of them, are broken into the same three sections. I first praise Hashem with the three brachos, then I request, and then I thank Hashem at the end. And even a Shabbos and a Yantiv that I don't have bakashos in the same way we ask God for things during the week, it has the three Shavach and the three of Hoda at the end. The question is, why do we have Shavach? Why are we praising Hashem? What's the goal of Shavach? It can't be that I am buttering up Hashem, that I am trying to you know, praise Hashem so that he'll give me what I want, like I would if I was talking to a human being, like a child to a parent. Oh, you're so great. You're so wonderful. I also need $100. So why do we have Shabbat? So the simple answer is that when I get to the Bakashos, when I am asking God for refua, for money, for whatever it may be, Geula, Yerushalayim, it doesn't make a difference. I have to understand that Hashem could do all of these things that I'm asking for. So before I get to Bakashos, I remind myself, not God, I remind myself, as Tzfilo always is, about uncovering who we are, that Hashem is powerful, that Hashem can do all of these things, that Hashem can, at any time, no matter what, that's the role of Hashem. But the Mabit, the, one of the early Achron in the 1500s of Yosef Tran, he explains the following in an amazing, amazing understanding of Tzfilo. He explains that if that's the case, then really what we should do is we should have one bracha. Hashem is an all-amazing, all-powerful God. All right, here's what I need. Why do I have three brachos? Three brachos at the beginning of Shemona Esrei to praise God. One bracha should be enough. And he explains the following. Really, the three brachos at the beginning of Shemona Esrei relate very differently to me and my relationship with Hashem. The first bracha, okay, no, okay, I will say no is that God is like my father. Ah, he knows my grandparents and he knows my ancestors and we have a, a familial connection with the Rebona Sholem. That's Elokein of Elokei Avosim. But the second brach of Hashem Esther is Machak Elchayim, is very different. That is God is a melech, God can do anything, he's all powerful, Machayim Mesim, Matir Asurim, he can do anything that he wants, right? Hashem, Machak Elchayim, Machesim, Machayim Mesim, Barachim, Rabim, Somich, he can do all of these amazing things, he's a great king. And the third bracha of Shemona Esrei is that God is a Keol HaKadosh, which is a very distant, so to speak, God, a God that is you know, an all-powerful, but not in the same way that it's a king or a, or a father that I relate to on a much more personal level, which is why during Aser Esimei Teshuvah, we change a Keol HaKadosh to a Melech HaKadosh to represent and reflect the closeness and a, a, fam a familiarity and a, and, a sense of and a sense of intimacy with Hashem. So it says the Mabit, when I start my Shemona Esri, before I get to Bakashos, how do I feel? What, what world am I entering into? Is this more of a father, father connection? Or more of a mel Do I need to ask for something? Is there something that's looming on my mind? Is there something big, meaning a surgery, something that I need from a Melech standpoint? Am I in a very you know, uh, difficult place? Maybe God is more of the Kela Kadosh. And then sort of I, I, I dial in to what I feel like, and then I can get bakashas. Of course, doesn't mean that every day is the same. In fact, tefillah should be different. My shachrets can be different than my mincha and my marit. But I start my shmona esrei with an understanding of how do I feel? How, do I, how, how am I entering into this most intimate two minutes, three minutes, four minutes of my day? And in what relationship do I, it doesn't have to be the same. It could change, it could vary. But it sets the tone for what our Shemona Esri should be, for what our Shemona Esri is, and that is the greatest meaning we'll have during the entire day. <clears throat>